congratulate Sumitini for your uh, success in JE Mains, who's wrote to you and this session one. So Sumitini, let's start with uh, discussing about uh, how you started your preparation. Like when you started your preparation, how you started your preparation, what was the initial days like? So actually, uh, my history with Pathfinder is very long. And I started my preparation way back in, I believe, class 9, where I had joined Pathfinder Foundation course. And I believe that developed my interest in science, physics, chemistry, maths. And talking about coming, moving into class 11, choosing a stream and such, I, I believe my strongest subject was always chemistry. And that came a bit more naturally to me. I, I, I believe I had to work hard to score well in mathematics, but it ultimately worked out in the end that I'm glad that it did. Okay, that's great. So I would like to know what was uh, the revision plan then? Because many a times students who are watching here can relate to this that they find it difficult to cope with the uh, board exam as well as entrance exam. So how you went around uh, preparing for both of them simultaneously? Right, so yeah, the board exam versus competitive exam dilemma is, is a tough question to choose between but I believe ultimately the syllabus is the same yes the uh, question pattern question type uh, obviously um, competitive exams are completely based on objective questions vis-a-vis -vis board exams being a lot more subjective a lot more descriptive where you have to often delve deep into the derivation and stuff so I, I believe a good balance would be to check out the past year papers of both see which topics come in common like for example to, to state one um, if you check out indefinite integration for example there the board exam delves much deeper into the topic than what your average competitive exam syllabus does so i, I think it's it's not fair to completely dump board exams and just focus on competitors because that will often not lead to the best results i believe a healthy balance of both of course, you'll have to focus on your competitors a lot, practice a lot of MCQs, objectives, but at the same time, don't completely neglect your board exams. I believe uh, uh, an 80 20 ratio of um, completing your competitors and boards is a, is a good balance. So, it would be a typical question to ask, but uh, like all the parents would like to know how many hours you used to study. Uh, I have seen a lot of toppers say that they studied for 12 hours, woke up at 6 in the morning and studied till 2 o'clock at night but for me that was just not true, that was, uh, in fact I used to laugh seeing those videos. Um, I, I, I believe it's not really a question of how much time did you study but more about what was your concentration level like, what was your focus like when you studied like I, I could hold a, a book open and read a page for 30 minutes and ultimately not remember a single bit from it in the next 20 seconds. So, but if, if you ask me what my effective study time per day was, <laughs> it would it, be somewhere in the ballpark of 1 hour max to max. And, and that also I'm exaggerating probably. So, technically you are a God gifted child. No, no, it's, it's not God gifted. I, I believe if I concentrate my study hours in two times when I focused properly, it would come to around one hour. I, if, you, if you consider the entire time that I had like a book open in front of me or was browsing questions, then I, I guess the somewhere around three hours. Okay. So the next question is, uh, what are your plans to prepare for GE Advanced? GE Advanced is a very difficult exam of course and the marks pattern is also difficult. I believe you can't take as much risks as you could take in J in Ains in advance because of course minus 2 vis a vis minus 1 J in Ains. I believe I would like to strengthen the concepts in key areas like say um, thermodynamics. It's a topic that's common in both physics and chemistry and it can potentially give, give you somewhere around 2 to 3 questions in J E advance which might not seem huge but will actually end up making a difference. Similarly, say in chemistry there is atomic structure, in physics there is uh, modern physics, semiconductor devices, nuclear physics which are roughly based around the same concepts and same topics and so strengthening those uh, portions of the syllabus will probably be my main goal and my main focus. So Samudra will tell me something about uh, how a day in PHS PS used to be like and uh, how they help you in uh, maintaining a balance between a competitive exam and board exam. 
Pathfinder High Secondary Public School was certainly a unique school in this regard. I believe the problem with most schools in West Bengal and the rest of India is that they focus a bit too much on your board preparation and obviously the average middle class Indian parent will always tell you to keep beta boards mein to acha karna hi karega. you have to get 95 percentile percentage 90 percent and I, I believe that's not a very aspirational goal to have because ultimately your college will be determined by your JE mains or JE advanced score so the unique key feature of PHSPS was that it built up your foundation in topics that are very essential for your board exams but ultimately they delved deep into the subjects and built up my preparation so that my competitive exam syllabus was also covered so I didn't have to go home, open a competitive book, a book related to competitive exams and go like what is this, I, I don't know any of this because a lot of it, I, I believe somewhere more than 90% of it was already covered by my school teachers and another great fact about Pathfinder High Secondary Public School was that the teachers were always available I, I could um, give them a WhatsApp message that I'm facing a problem in 2022 J E means this question and, and they would reply to me instantly so they were very helpful in my competitive exam preparation Okay, that's great Samudhuri, it was really nice listening from you, your side of the story and I wish, uh, rather we wish you a very glorious career ahead. May you attain more success. Thank you, sir. That's good.